To set up the terminal, you will need your Ethernet cable and your power cord. Plug these into the back of the terminal and then into your power supply to get started. Now you will need to set up your terminal. Click on the menu button. Use the arrow to click down and select options. Now click down and select communication options. Next click down and select device number. The default device number is 1 but can be set to any number that has not already been used on the network. Click OK. Next click down and select IP address. The terminal comes with the default IP address of 192.168.1201. If this IP address is the same subnet as the computer that you are installing the software on and not in use by another device, then you can use this IP address. Otherwise, if you have an IT technician, you will need to ask that technician for a dedicated static IP address that can be used for the terminal and then enter that number into the terminal. Next, click down and select Ethernet. The default is set to Yes. If it is set to No, please change it to Yes and then click OK. You must click OK to save the settings. Now click F1 until you return to the first screen. Double click on the administrator icon. Log on by entering your login and password. Then click OK. The TimeKey Plus software will open. Click on the Terminal button. The Terminal Manager screen will open. Click on the TimeKey Plus Settings button. The TimeKey Plus wizard will appear. Enter what type of connection you will set. In this case, we will select Ethernet. Then click Next. Check the Enable Ethernet server box. The Enable TimeQ Plus Ethernet server will appear. This must be enabled in order to receive transactions from the terminal. Then click the Yes button. Then click Next. Then click Add Terminal. The Add Terminal wizard will appear. Then click Next. Now you will need to enter your IP address. Enter your IP address. Click on the Biometrics description. Then click Next. You will receive a message that a direct connection to the device was successfully established. Then click Next. Now you will be asked if you want to delete the existing transactions on the terminal. If you want to clear the transactions, check the box. If you want to keep the transactions, do not check the box. Then click Next. The internal log has been successfully cleared. Then click Next. Now you will be asked if you want to delete all the existing users on the terminal. For this example, we are going to clear the users by clicking the button. Now all the users on the device were deleted. Then click OK. Now we can finish adding the terminal to the system. Please click the manual pull box. Then click Finish. Now the wizard has successfully been completed. The terminal is added to the TimeQ Plus software. The green light shows that the terminal is connected.